what is going on guys today i'm going to show you how to use the foliage editor and some of the tools that come with it so to put foliage in your scene first you're going to need your terrain or it can be a static mesh like just the floor it doesn't matter as long as it's something you can place it on so come into your foliage tab and then drag in your assets so i got grass mushrooms and flowers so i'm just going to drag them in so if we look here we've got landscape static mesh and bsp so you could turn those on depending on what you want to be able to place your actual assets on if you turn off landscape you obviously won't be able to paint on the landscape and if, obviously if you turn off the other ones you won't be able to paint on them so i'm just going to leave the grass ticked so wherever you've got ticked is what's going to start painting so if we just paint start painting the grass from the get-go it's not very dense there's not a lot of it and it doesn't look as nice and the more you obviously have the more demanding it will be but we're going to turn it up to maybe 1200 so if we start painting it, you can see it's a lot more dense and it just looks a lot better. So we just paint it in. And that looks quite nice. So we've got some grass. Now the lighting isn't built, so the grass is gonna look great, but that's fine. So now let's move on to our mushrooms. So with the mushrooms, I don't want them to be as dense, so we could turn that down to like one maybe, or maybe two, and turn you to four, or four, there you go. Because uh, we we'll, let's say we want the red ones to be a bit more sort of, we want more of them in an area. So we start clicking, we can get some of those placed. Now another tool here is the radius. So the more radius you have, the more spread out your actual assets will be. So if I have that turned up to like ten, and we rub out what we've got, they will become more spread out, and that's not very strong. So let's really go over the top, put it to a thousand. So you can see, I've just selected it for the red ones, because I didn't click on the blue. So you can see, the red ones are a lot more spread out from each other. So 1,000 was alright, but let's say 400. Same with the blue ones, 400. And this is sort of just helps so they don't collide with each other when you place them. It's to make sure they won't sort of place inside each other. So there you go, got some mushrooms. And now let's go to the flowers. So for the flowers, we want them to be, yeah, quite dense. Um... And let's make that like 100 so not too close together. And that's pretty much what we want. And you could paint that all over if you wanted to. Or you can have sort of just flower patches sort of here and there. And if you've got that all sorted for all of them, you can tick all of them now. And start painting and it'll put all of them in. So you have a nice area with all of your assets. And that's pretty much sort of the basics to putting a foliage in your scene. I hope it's helped anyone who didn't even know this tool existed. I will be doing further stories showing you in more detail what you can do with this. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped and bye-bye.